Welcome to another edition of emag24101 on youtube.com. Uh, this is Eddie and McNamara right here. Uh, make sure to like this video and subscribe. With a WWE backstage report on the 2015 WWE Royal Rumble winner. The WWE Superstar of the Year for 2014. A former tag team champion with Seth Rollins. A former Shield member, Roman Reigns. And uh, the current reigning defending undisputed WWE World Champion, Champion, a four-time champion. You know, he's won the Royal Rumble as well. Main event at WrestleMania. I think King of the Ring winner as well. Uh, UFC Champion was in the UFC, Brock Lesnar. And the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. Let's get into it. Let's not wait any time. Okay, rumors are that Brock Lesnar does not, want, does not want to drop the WWE World Heavyweight Championship at WrestleMania 31 this year in 2015. It's said that Brock Lesnar does not have a problem with Roman Reigns. He just feels that it's not a, it's not, to, he just feels it's not to lose a title he won, that it's not time to lose a title he won in convincing fashion at SummerSlam in 2014 last year against John Cena. Just yet. Yeah, just yet. Now, on top of that, there's speculation that Lesnar wants to compete with the UFC. While being the current reigning defending undisputed WWE World Heavyweight Champion. Um, it's believed that this is not a favorable decision on WWE's part. Rumors are that WWE wants Lesnar exclusively with them. Not wanting, uh, like, not wanting them to, not wanting him to go anywhere else. Because if you do know Bobby Lashley's in TNA, he's actually with Bellator, I think. And MMA is doing something like that. That's why. So, it's believed that this is not a favorable decision on WWE's part. Okay, wait, sorry. However, if that's what WWE wants, then WWE may have no other choice than to keep Lesnar champion after WrestleMania 31. Now, another problem, however, with Brock Lesnar is that keeping the title for as long as he has is that he is hardly around to defend it. Um, if you were to go to the UFC, then the likelihood of WWE keeping the belt on Lesnar looks even slimmer. WWE could always book Brock Lesnar to drop the title, only to win it back down the line. Another problem Lesnar has is his merchandise sales. With the WWE, it said that WWE may turn Lesnar face so he can gain more money from merchandise sales being sold. But the pay-per-view buy was also alarming for Lesnar when WWE switched the pay-per-views to the WWE Network. As we all know, the pay-per-views used to be on just regular cable, you know, pay-per-view um, for $55 in HD. Um, and then now it's $9.99 on the WWE Network. And now Lesnar saw a significant de decrease in his pay-per-view buyouts. Now, despite the negative reaction and boost of this WWE World Heavyweight Championship main event match on, uh, at WrestleMania 31, come tonight, not even the backlash will stop Lesnar and Reigns from putting on a performance. It said that Brock Lesnar and Reigns intend on putting on a match that will be remembered for years to come. The reason behind WWE wanting Lesnar with their brand is because it brings believability and legitimacy towards the product. Now, one source did, did say that WWE busted their ass in getting Lesnar to return to the WWE a few years back. Not even to mention all the money and time they put into Lesnar in promoting him. Now, WWE will do anything it takes for Lesnar to stay with the WWE as it left a sour taste in their mouth when he left in 2004, the day after WrestleMania 20. And it took a lot of time for the WWE to bounce back after what took place after WrestleMania 20 in 2004, which is just about 11 years ago. Uh, it was, we all know it was, this, it was in Madison Square Garden. Uh, he faced Bill Goldberg. Uh, okay. So yeah, we all know the special referee was Stone Cold Steve Austin. Because we all know, yeah. That was Bill Goldberg's last match. We thought that was going to be Brock Lesnar's last match. They put on a horrible match. If you do want to check out, that's if you want to see how horrible it is, 
you can go check it out on the WWE Network for a low price of just $9.99 okay so yeah now we all know now Brad Lesnar won the WWE World Heavy Championship not for the for a fourth time um back at SummerSlam in 2014 against John Cena we all know what happened he dominated that match okay yada yada we all know what already ha what, ha what already happened he doesn't want to drop it now do you think anybody wants to drop it? Do you think uh, anyone wants to drop it though? I mean, the yeah, Clay. I mean, maybe they do. I don't know. Um. Okay. So he's had the title for seven months and defended it twice. He defended it against John Cena uh, at Night of Champions in September, and then he defended it against uh, Seth Rollins and John Cena in a triple threat match at the Royal Rumble this year. I mean, he's on Raw. He's he's with Paul Heyman. Maybe Rowan Reigns turns heel and joins Paul Heyman. I don't know. Maybe Seth Rollins cashes in, but yeah. Now, Brock Lesnar, that's good. I mean, Brock Lesnar doesn't have a problem with Rowan Reigns. Does he have a problem with anybody? I'm not sure. Um, now, I guess Brock Lesnar does want to go to the UFC while he's in WWE. So basically, he really doesn't get double the money. I'm saying, just think about how much money he would make. Um, I mean... If that's what the, I mean, W's not gonna let him do that. That's the thing. So, so I guess he does want to return to him, but he really does actually. Um, why wouldn't you not want Brock Lesnar? I mean, really, exclusively for you. Now, to be honest, if you do want to throw a huge swerve, I wouldn't say a huge swerve, but to give to give someone a shocker to be like, you know, you know how we've had the news and rumors and headlines and stuff concerning, you know, Roman Reigns is going to be the next face. He's John Cena 2.0. He's going to win the WWE World Championship. Right against Brock Lesnar. He's going to be the one to defeat him. I mean, if Brock Lesnar does retire, why not have Brock Lesnar win? However, this is the only thing. He barely shows up and he's, that would be only a third title defense in, you know, seven months, I think. He's got to start being on Raw. He's got to start competing on Raw. He's got he's to start cutting his own promos. He's got to start being, I mean, at least on Raw or SmackDown, doing live events, doing make wish. He's got to start doing the pay reviews. I mean, I don't know. He's got to do more dates. He's, and it's not all about the money. I mean, I don't know. Because then, I mean, I think he doesn't come around until SummerSlam again. That's only my problem with it. I mean, I want a fighting champion. I want a champion that's always going to be there every freaking Monday and Thursday. On live events, all the, on the weekend, doing make wishes and all that crap. And um, we all know Brock Lesnar's not on every pay per view, he's not on every Raw, and he hasn't even been on a SmackDown or on any live event doing any make a wish or anything with the on an NXT main event, Super Series, nothing. So. I hope they put on a good match. I mean, the storyline build, the build up is shit, but oh, we'll go face facing and get in a brawl. But the match, I don't know, it might be good. You never know, really. It might shock us, surprise us. Okay, um, we all know that Brock is a real tough guy. I mean, really, he's really, you know, he doesn't. I mean, we all know. So yeah, we all know he returned in 2012, and he's had a three-year deal, and limited dates, more money. Now, we'll see what happens. It's hopefully, he'll be on Raw tomorrow. Um, we'll see. Because he owes, I think he owes WWE a date, but, you know, on this current deal, he's at uh, March 23rd on Raw. He's got the March, we all know, 29th WWE World Championship match against Roman Reigns. In the main event of WrestleMania 31, and then he got the March 30th Raw. After WrestleMania, so... No one thought Brock was ever going to return to WWE. We all thought UFC was the one, but eventually came back. Now, how long will this deal be for? How much money? How many dates? Will it be more? Or will it be less? I don't know. We are going to find out, ladies and gentlemen, subscribers and viewers. Hope you enjoyed the video, everyone. So, yeah. See you, YouTube. Peace out. Uh, thanks for the support, and thanks for watching. Uh, make sure to like this video. Share this video all over the entire internet on Facebook, Twitter. Comment with your thoughts and your opinions. Subscribe.